The Roman aqueduct was an ancient marble that began in 144 BC and finished very soon after. It was thought to be constructed under separate leaders, such as Emperor Claudius, Augustus, Nero, and even Alexander Severus. The aqueduct symbolizes a unique, sophisticated, and innovative engineering that Rome had to offer. A critical part to any city is a constant water supply of fresh water. This unique aqueduct system spanned it over miles, which created an irrigation of water from distant sources into their cities and towns. In order to bring fresh water into the cities, Romans had to have access to lakes or springs. Sometimes hundreds of miles away, a tunnel was dug through the mountains with the use of hand tools. Rome literally moved mountains in order to have access to fresh water. The key to the aqueduct's success was gravity and the use of arcs. This not only gave the aqueduct strength, but also meant less materials had to be used for construction. Once the engineers located a source of water in the mountains, they built their aqueducts at a gentle downward slope to ensure that the water would flow its entire length. The aqueducts rested on a series of arcs, which was supported above the varying terrain of massive stones. But when the aqueducts was, had to cross a river or a ravine, it became harder to build its structure. The Roman engineers instead built large arcs, and if necessary, they built larger arcs stacked on top of each other. After reaching, each, after reaching a city, each aqueduct emptied into three holding tanks, or castellas, one for the public drinking fountains, a second for the public baths, and a third reserved for the emperor and other wealthy Romans who paid for their own running water. Many of these aqueducts still stand to this day as a testament to Rome.